Hello everybody. Um, today, because I've got five minutes and there's nobody here, I thought we would look at controllers and the general problems we get with all controllers. I'm going to start with, the, not the last generation, the generation before of Scalatrix. There is one before this one and we'll look at the differences briefly. So, why do these go wrong? Generally, it's to do with the section, I'm trying to get the light in, section here. As you drive and you press and you release, the two points, come on focus, where the trigger and then the swing arm here connect, it digs a hole in it. So as you get further and further into life, the swing arm isn't going to the end, it's going to just shy of the end. Also when the spring wears out, the brake, this really does need to sort its focus out, which is just here, the copper bit here, it doesn't swing all the way back to it. It starts stopping like just off it. Plus, this metal work here, use the screwdriver for pointiness, just here, will bend and also develop uh, damage on the underside. It will wear out. Um, I thought I had one to hand, I clearly don't. Yeah, so that will eventually just wear out. This is the main problem with the Scalectrix ones. Uh, plus, you can see this is a repaired one because the cabling at the base has been snapped and resoldered by me um, and reattached. So they are some of the main issues with the Scalectrix one. This one, obviously, if you know what you're doing, you can build this back up with um, putty or resin and same with the hole that forms on the trigger itself. And that will give you some more life out of it. As for the brass bit at the front, I've never found a way to replace that successfully. Right, that's the Scalatrix one. The last generation of Scalatrix one, the start controller. The biggest issue with these ones is that wire just there. No, I don't know. Can you see that? That's better. This wire just here. Snaps just here. And that was usually the issue with these ones. Also, these ones have no brake. Once you go back, it just goes to the bottom of the power and the car free wheels. Um, which I, I don't think is very good of the design. That is also how the older version of that last generation of controller worked as well. So that's the Scalatrix ones. Obviously with these ones, anyone that, if one gets broken, I do generally fix them for free. Carrera controllers. Now, metal plate. Over the guides, over the guide. So this section here, the guide blade as you press down, it accelerates. As you lift up, it slows down. That's all to do with the way the power goes to the motors. But this bit rarely wears out. It's these sections here. As they go up and down the resistor, it grinds a hole in the brass work just here, and then they don't connect anymore. And that's how you kill a Carrera controller. Now, the Carrera wireless controller. This one's in bits, mainly because someone broke it and I've been repairing it for a while. And then I just replaced it because I didn't have time to repair it. So, the main issue with the Carrera controller is this, if it's analog, the digital one, you need this, but for analog, this switch just here, which is what you get when you press the button in, that breaks and stays permanently on. This, in turn, causes issue. And the way it's built is it's a D-clip that should be here. And as you push the trigger, it pushes this back, pushes the two cables to the, that way together, and that then, that way, could be that way, it's one of these two, uh, that then changes lane. On the analog one, they say it doesn't work for digital, we all know it does, um, but that is the point where it goes, and once that's gone, battery's permanently draining, you've got to remove the switch. It's not too hard to do, you just click out the D and then cut the peg. Now, the other problem, the arm here, as it goes up and down, eventually fills with dust and detritus, I keep using detritus, in here, in this end of the uh, lever arm. That then, when it comes back up, stops the swing arm, the uh, alternator, alternator? I don't know what they call it. I used to know, I've forgotten. It's you know, locked down, it's doing my head in. Um, stops it going all the way back up, so the power is constantly cycling through at this point and your battery goes. 
So you have to then just take it out and clean it. I've had to do three out there this week because I've discovered this on three of them. It also means the car goes a lot faster because it's constantly cycling power and constantly charging and then losing its signal to know which car is which. Uh, they are the controllers that we use, or we have used over the years. Um, my desk is still not any tidier. So now you have an idea of what can go wrong with them and some of the ways to fix them. Hopefully anyway.